in fact this was the changes that i made when my food business was really going down i had to change my location in fact when i changed location i didn't even know there was such sales <laughs> in this food business food business can make you lots of money the only thing is you need to know your way you need to know your way and know what you are doing if that location is not working for you my sister my brother make sure that you change location what's up guys hi youtube hi everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is a beast lady and i'd like to welcome you back to my youtube channel guys today i am going to be sharing what you need to do if your food business is no longer giving you money it's no longer giving you the income that you deserve today a lot of people has been struggling and drowning in this food food business food business it's a work hard pace business. Oh yes. But you can decide to choose to work smart. Or you remain dumb. So in this video, I am going to be sharing eight things to do if your business is no longer giving you money. Join with me guys. Let's dive into this video. Number one, if your food business is no longer giving you money or sales, you need to check your location or change your location because food business needs to be accessible you need to have visibility if these things are no longer there and people are not finding their way to come to your business either you check the location whether it's a workable location or you change a location and get somewhere else that is good for you because if you don't do all these things you are going to drown and remain there and at the end of the day this is going to hurt your sales. Number two, you need to make changes in your menu. It's not about I want to sell food, I want to sell food. And you are seeing what other people are doing. And I said, okay, because they are selling rice, let me go and sell rice. Rice might not fit the audience there. That is why they say when you want to start a business, target the audience. Who are the people living in that community? And you need to create exciting dishes as well. You need to draw them with your dishes. If the dishes or the menu that you are serving before, maybe because you are good in that, you can as well learn. You can also put, make changes, put other, other, other meals like maybe if food is not working for you, you can put comfort food like spicy meat, pepper soup, ice cream, shawarma and all that. Or, oba, or vegetable, you know, you can change your menu. That is what you need to do. And try and I don't mean selling all the whole food but you need to try other menus other exciting dish and your food presentation also matters the way you present your food it also matters so make sure that you're putting up to trends what is because there are ways that people are serving food right now so people will roll their air but if it's what you will do and it's going to make your food to be attractive to people you need to make that changes change your menu create exciting dishes you know and you will see changes know how know how there must be a change number three you need to brand your business how will people find you how will people locate you people just know that this is a food from you once they see your plate or they see some certain things they know this is where i am headed to so if you have not branded your business you need to start branding your food business or your restaurant business number four you need to add ordering services inside your business, inside your food business. Because some people don't even, you know, they just want to serve those people that are there. So my one 10 plates of food or 20 plates, don't limit yourself to only ordering. Some people even want to take those things home. So you need to introduce ordering, more ordering. Get, go and get enough plates. You know, take away plates for your business so that anybody can order anything. No limit to any number of plates. Not when someone wants to order like uh, 50 plates or wants to order 10 plates and what you have is only 10 pieces. You go to the market, you pick 10 pieces. So you need to encourage people to buy order. that you, They can buy order or even store in their fridge. The next one is this. You need to create a relaxing environment for your community or for your environment or for your business people. 
create a sit out people like sitting out in a business place especially food business where they can be comfortable maybe sometimes your place is not comfortable for comfortable for them to relax in that place so you need to create a very very relaxing you know environment for them to come and relax in your place that's what you should do the next one is you need to start hosting events and meeting in your in your business when you host meetings and uh, bus- um, events in your business it brings more sales it brings more money to your business so you can encourage introduce them tell them do your advert in your business and you know put some postcard do your business card and share it that is what people like. This is what can that can draw them. Okay, we have a meeting today. Uh, let's go to Amy's place or let's go to Choma's place. And that's where we're going to head the meeting. Before you know, they will not put order. You might be serving laws and that's how you make your money and bring them back. The next one is introduce outdoor services for your business. If you're not introducing outdoor services for your business, it's not going to work. That is where the real money is in food business. Just like I said, choose to work smart it's not only because this business is very very tedious it's a strenuous and stressful business but you know how to do it and also your staff you need to train them train your workers on how to run your business so that when you are not there they can also you know help you and run the business some staff don't have training so they don't even know how to communicate with their business people with their customers coming inside the business. So this is what you need to do. You need to start communicating, training your staff, giving them the right skills to now work with your customers. Because if they have bad uh, character, it might make sales to drop. People might not want to come to that place because they know what they will meet. So you need to train your staff on how to serve your customers as well. Then the next one is this. You need to market your business what they tell you about marketing you think it's a joke marketing promotion helps a business to grow so for your online marketing you need to create pages for your business write the name of your business and promote it why they are always talking about online business is this online marketing is this because there are lots of audience on the online space many people will see your services on the online space And before you know it, they'll be sending you messages. I need this. I want that. I want that. So you should use the opportunity. Either you want to do sponsored art or you want to, you know, anyhow you want to do it, make sure you are on the online space. Then if it's offline, make sure you have your customers' contacts, emails, and always send them messages. When you're creating new items, when you have new menus and all that. Encourage them to order. Encourage them that you are into events. Encourage them that you can cook for one or two. Not when you now see them, they will now show you how we did this. Now say, ah, I used to do this now. But the person will tell you, but you didn't tell me. I didn't know that you can do uh, outdoor service. So you need to promote your business. Mouth to mouth. Word of mouth. So I have a restaurant. I have a food business. Please help me. You know, be my customer. Patronize me. If you don't talk about your business, nobody is going to help you. So I believe these things I've listed up can help you resurrect your business. If you have any question that you want to ask me, please put it on the comment section. You know, I'll be able to answer. Then, if you enjoy watching my video, please make sure that you subscribe, please. So that anytime I post more of these videos, you'll be able to get notified share like and comment guys this is where i am going to be stopping this video see you next time i talk about business growth how to make money resurrect your business and sustain the growth of your business thank you guys it's a baby girl a beast lady on the beats thank you subscribe subscribe and subscribe bye bye